number of people, amount of people, number of money, amount of money, number of mistakes, amount of mistakes, number versus amount, which one is correct, and how do you know which one to use? Well, keep watching and find out. Hi guys, just a short interruption. Please take a second and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Okay, thanks so much. Back to the video. Okay, number versus amount. Let's get started. What is the difference between the words number and amount? Don't say, did you count the amount of items on the menu? Say instead, did you count the number of items on the menu? Why? Well, the word number refers to things you count individually. One, two, three, etc. The word number is used for things that are countable. Countable means able to count. You can count them. So, did you count the number of items on the menu? Can you count items? Yes, items are countable. So, therefore, number is the correct word choice here. The word amount does not refer to things you count individually. Amount refers to specific mass, weight, size, or the total parts of something. Therefore, amount is used for things that are uncountable. You are not able to count them. Okay? I have a video about countable and uncountable nouns. You can watch that video here. Don't say, what is the number of money you owe in taxes? Say instead, what is the amount of money you owe in taxes? Money is uncountable. One money, two money, this is strange, right? Dollars, on the other hand, are countable. One dollar, two dollars, three dollars. Money is an abstract concept. It's an idea. Dollars are real. You can touch them, right? Don't say the amount of errors, mistakes, on Liam's test set a record for poor performance. If you went to high school with me, you may have heard my teacher say that. Say instead, the number of errors on Liam's test set a record for poor performance. Why? Well, look at the noun. Errors are countable. Error is a synonym of mistake. One mistake, two mistakes, one error, two errors. Understand? Don't say, we bought the number of wood we need to build the house. Say instead, we bought the amount of wood we need to build the house. Wood is 
uncountable. Don't say there was a large amount of people in the theater when we arrived. Say instead, there was a large number of people in the theater when we arrived. People are countable. One person, two people, three people, etc. Okay, let's summarize. Remember, the word number refers to things you count individually. Therefore, number is used for things that are countable. The word amount does not refer to things you count individually. Therefore, amount is used for things that are uncountable. Easy, right? Okay. Let me know your questions down in the comments section below and your ideas for future videos. If there's something about English that you think is confusing, let me know down in the comments section and I will make a video about it in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Like this video if you learned something and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. My name is Liam. This is Grammar Simple, the channel that makes English grammar simple. I will see you in a future video. Bye for now.